change checker, we often talk a lot about the commemorative coins you can find in your change, but did you know there are some definitive coins that can be just as rare? In this video, we're going to delve into the world of definitive 50p coins, so keep watching to find out which ones you should be looking out for. First up, let's talk about Britannia 50p's. Britannia, a fictional representation of Britain itself, first appeared on our coins in Roman times, but became more of a permanent figure on UK coins in the 1960s. Since its decimal introduction in 1969, Britannia can be found on the definitive 50p, all the way up to 2008, when her portrait was replaced by the Royal Shield design. Britannia 50p's are some of the most common coins in circulation, however there is one date you should be keeping an eye out for. If you come across a 2008 dated Britannia 50p, you should consider yourself lucky, as only 3,500,000 of these entered circulation. This year was particularly significant because it marked the final time the Britannia design was issued for circulation before the introduction of the Royal Shield design. Next, let's turn our attention to the Royal Shield 50p's, which featured on definitive UK 50p coins from 2008 to 2022. The Royal Shield 50p was introduced in 2008 as part of Matthew Dent's new definitive designs on the 1p to the 50p, which, when fitted together, actually reveal the Royal Shield. At the time of recording, the last Royal Shield 50p issued for circulation was in 2022, and since then we had the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and the coronation of King Charles III, so there's been a shake-up in UK definitive coins. You may have seen the new definitive UK 50p featuring King Charles III on the obverse and an Atlantic salmon on the reverse, although these are proving pretty hard for collectors to come by. Despite the Royal Shield being the definitive UK 50p design for a 14-year period, not every year saw them entering circulation. Royal Shield 50p's dated 2009, 2010, 2011, 2016, 2018 and 2021 are particularly special, because they were never intended for general circulation. Instead, they were issued exclusively for annual coin sets, so the only way they could have ended up in your change is if a brilliant uncirculated version had been broken out of its collector pack and spent. Due to this, it's not known how many Royal Shield 50p's with these dates are out there, but they do crop up from time to time, so it's worth keeping an eye out for them. Finally, there's one more definitive coin that we need to talk about, the 2017 Royal Shield 50p. Unlike its set exclusive counterparts, this coin was released into circulation, however it has a mintage figure of just 1,800,000. This makes the 2017 Royal Shield 50p the rarest definitive 50p in circulation. This is of course since the smaller 50p specification was introduced in 1997. So if you're lucky enough to have one of these, you've got a true gem in your collection. So now you're in the know about the rare definitive 50p's to watch out for in your change. Do you have any of the coins I've mentioned in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you next time.